Hello, a quick recap. And this, which is a quick kneecap. I don't think I can lift my leg high enough though. So, The Amazing Smeller Man, which is a spoof on The Amazing Spider-Man. Uh, instead of being bitten by a radioactive spider, Peter Putrid gets bitten by, uh, gets caught in a waft of a radioactive fart and gets amazing wind powers, shall we say. I know I'm being discreet there, it's full of fart jokes all the way through, it's just... <laughs> anyway, so, and um, in the last clip, so um, this is um, clip three of chapter four, Spider-Man against Electrode, and Spider-Man is just caught Electrode. And all of a sudden, a low female voice is coming to their ears. It was me, Smeller Man, came the very quiet voice again. Who are you, and why are you talking so quietly, demanded Smelly. This is Nicky News of Channel 38 and a half, coming live to you from under a bush outside Electrode's secret hideout. Nicky News? Why are you here, and why were you talking so quietly? I am here because I wanted to get the scoop on your latest battle, Smeller Man, and I was talking so quietly because I wanted to see if you had good hearing, so I will know how to sneak up on you in future. <clears throat> uh, not that I would ever do such a thing, of course. I see, um, but why were you hiding to get a scoop? I have been replaced by a tree. I want to get my job back on the presenting desk. Do you know how humiliating it is to hear Mel Frost, the sports presenter, saying, are those all the latest, and those are the, all the football scores now back to a tree for the latest breaking political scandal? No. Well, it is very humiliating. But I have an advantage over a tree. You aren't going to be cut down by illegal Amazon loggers to make way for a seed oil plantation? Oh, no. Once was enough. Once was a... What? Forget it. I don't like to talk about it. My advantage is, smeller man, the tree only does studio reports, reading off the auto cue. Very badly, I might add, or foliage and no enunciation. <laughs> it seldom leaves the studio. Well, actually, it drops them all over the studio. <laughs> but it finds it very difficult to get to the live broadcasts. Not every taxi has enough room for a 60-foot high ash, and they are notoriously bad tippers as well. So if I can get some live scoops, I can impress my editor and get my job back. I just need to interject here, because I, you know, you, these only really work if you follow on one or the other. But about six chapters back, Nikki News, the news anchor, got replaced by a tree for reasons I'm not going to go into here. Anyway, so there you go. So if I can get some live scoops, I can impress my editor and get my job back. Scoops of what? asked Electrode. Ice cream? I'm not sure the bribery works. Actually, let's find out. Uh, hey, smell man, I'll buy you a 99 cone if you let me go. No. Sorry, Nikki. It won't work. Ignore him, Nikki, said smell man. So, if I have this correctly, you are following me to get the exclusive story on my battle with, uh, with the incredible light bulb man there, yes. Electrode sniffed in annoyance, which made his ears glow red and green. Oh my god, things. I'm Electrode, not light bulb man, he snapped. Why have you got a light bulb in your mouth then, asked Nicky. Ask him, he put it there, growled Electrode, nodding in Smelly's direction. Smell man, why has he got a light bulb in his mouth then? asked Nicky. So we can see. No sense having a human electrical circuit board at your disposal and not making use of it. Good thinking, smell man. Actually, I have three spare light bulbs in my handbag. Maybe we could bend them over and have some floodlights. <laughs> Will you forget that idea, yelled Electrode. Blimey, how much longer till the police get here? I need to turn up while I still have some sockets to myself. As if on cue, sirens appeared with police cars underneath them. <laughs> I have to go, Nicky News of Channel 38 and a half under a bush department, for the police are undecided as to whether I am a hero or not, and so until they get to know me better, I must stay out of their reach. I should go this way to throw them off the scent. <laughs> Good luck throwing them off your scent, smeller man. But I will cover for you, and if my editor runs this story, I will do my best to highlight that you are a hero. And you know what, Electrode? I don't know why I'm still talking. He's already gone. I threw myself off by missing a cut and a colon there. <sighs> the only thing... <coughs> I'm not, not going to... I'm going to do an ad-lib then. I managed to stop myself halfway through. I'm sure you realise what it's going to be, though. Yeah. Smell a man, colon. Fill in the blanks. <laughs> Later that night, Peter watched the broadcast on, on the television was pleased to see that not only did Nikki News get to break the story, she did indeed present him as a hero, and she also played down the extent of his potent weapon, merely remarking that some of Smeller Man's powers can be upsetting to people of a sensitive nasal membrane. 
Although her efforts were tempered somewhat by electro yelling, his farts were so bad dolphins were blocking the blowholes up in the bloody ocean as he was put in the police car. The villain's mood was not helped when the car had a flat battery as they connected electrodes to electrodes nodes <laughs> to jump start it. He jump started himself too, so badly he had to wear rubber underwear for a month. Alas, Electrode had the last laugh. Sentenced to three months diffused labour. <laughs> he insisted on the electric chair and the huge surge gave him enough power to shatter his restraints, the prison walls and the eyesight of everyone passing within five miles. This turned out to be just one person, <laughs> aren't they? Out for an early morning walk on the first day out of hospital. The ultra-psychedelic light show blinded her. She fell into a quarry and was knocked unconscious. I don't know why we bothered changing the sheets, sighed Nurse Goodhead, as May was wheeled into the hospital. That's a running joke at the end of every chapter. So Aunt May gets knocked unconscious, I think, at the end of chapter one. And she just never leaves the hospital every time she gets to do with smell a man so every time she starts, or recovers consciousness and they discharge her she gets out and boom, something smell a man related comes along and runs around conscious you'd need to either buy the book or watch some of the other videos to get the full gist of it there's the book there i'll show you the back of the book this time around there's the back of the book available on amazon and all other good websites and maybe some bad websites thank you for your time your interest and if you do you purchase <laughs>